Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coats on back order, and we're here in day two of the Weakness Cup online competition here in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Admittedly, I am sort of at a disadvantage here in the sense that I wanted to play some more matches yesterday to sort of learn what some common strategies might be, but I really didn't have time. I got home at the end of the day and I was pretty tired, so I am basically, this is battle number four of my participation. But after today, I'll be able to get every battle taken care of, and tomorrow get my first three of the day, and be able to go from there. So let's see this opponent, Taser Striker. Sounds like uh, Taser Face from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Anyway, we have a midday form, a Lycanroc, Greninja, Togekiss, uh, Superior, almost said Viper, Superior, a Breloom, and an Aerodactyl. Hmm. What is our best thing to leave? Well, the Aerodactyl and the... Superior and the Greninja are all pretty quick. We can get our Tailwind up, that could help us out. So we're going to lead with Critter the Butterfree. His biggest threat would be if the Aerodactyl comes in. It could be a Protein Greninja also, and Togekiss could be a problem. So we're going to go with... I think we'll go with Pinky. The Slowbro. We'll also bring... I want to bring Medusa. I want to try to use the weakness policy combo once again with the sturdy ability. And last Pokemon. In case they have any priority moves like Accelerock and Water Shuriken, I'm going to bring Cordial, our Serena, with the Queenly Majesty. So I'm going to see if I can do better this time, because as you saw, if you watched yesterday's video of the Weakness Cup, I didn't get a single win. I want to sort of fake you out too when I started the video. I want to say I didn't win a single match yesterday. Despite the fact that the only ones that I recorded were the three, are the ones that I played were the three that I recorded for video. So there's the fast ones right there. We're probably going to see Rock Slide. Hmm. Are we going to be able to get the Tailwind up? I doubt it. Because the Aerodactyl is going to outspeed us. Can we switch? Would that be the smart thing to do? We're going to see a Grass Attack from the Superior into Pink. Hmm, I think what's our best way to do this here? I'd like to give Medusa a free switch in without taking damage, so I'm going to come in with Cordial instead, replacing Critter. And we're going to go for a Scald attack onto the Aerodactyl. Probably the best thing we can do in this situation. So they're just going for all out speed, which I was trying to go for using Tailwind, but unfortunately they scared us out. And a Leaf Storm. Yes, Pinky just dodges it! And Cordial dodges the uh, Rock Slide. Now, the only downside is if we flinch. Alright, we're starting the day off with some good luck here. Not quite enough. Do we get the burn? We get the burn! This is completely reversed from yesterday's battles. Alright, we're off to a good one here. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. This is still a very dangerous superior with that Leaf Storm. Okay, in comes the Togekiss. So they can't extreme speed us. And would Superior learn any kind of quick attack type thing? I don't know. But we're going to try an Acrobatics onto the Superior. And we're going to switch Critter in place of Pinky. See if we can preserve him for a little bit here. Now, expecting another Leaf Storm, perhaps. They might be predicting my prediction of that, though. I'm going to go for something different. Or we'll just go straight up Leaf Storm. Now, it's probably going to be contrary, though, which is a problem, because it's going to sharply boost its special attack stat. Yep, there we go. Can we get a knockout? I doubt it. Not even close. Well, almost a two-hit KO. And Air Slash is going to hurt. We don't have really good defenses on. Cordial. With a critical hit, taking her down. All right, question is, will they... Well, they're going to probably expect the Sturdy. But I have no other choice. I gotta bring in our Onyx right now. Medusa comes in, takes the field. Combo with her, if you missed the last episode, is Sturdy's gonna keep her in play for at least one turn, unless they double up on her. We're gonna start off with a Rock Polish to get her speed up. If they hit her with a super effective move, which is a pretty obvious thing that they can do right here, then they're gonna sharply boost her attack stat using our Weakness Policy. Let's go with... Uh, I could Tailwind. Like, I'm probably going to lose Critter regardless into an Air Slash. Let's just go for some damage. Let's go for uh, Signal Beam into the Superior. There's Leaf Storm. Just dodging that hit. I'll take that. 
Wow, okay. This batch, this battle, we are off to one lucky start for today. I'll take it. I, okay, I guess I should go back on what I said yesterday. I said, I have almost nothing but bad luck in these battles. Now, it's not over yet, but as I've said, I have nothing but bad luck, but I'm having really good luck today. So, we do have Iron Head for surefire damage on this Togekiss. A Breloom comes in. We could Psychic that, unless we're not fast enough. But they could mock Punch us now, and Extreme Speed could be a thing as well. Let's go with... I can Rock Slide or Iron Head with Medusa. I'm going to Rock Slide. We'll get Stab Damage off on the Togekiss, and we're going to go with a Scald... Nope, sorry. Psychic Attack into the Breloom. See if they have any held item berries to deal with those. I didn't even look. Do they even have held items? I would expect they would. This person came with a contrary superior, so they know what they're doing. All right, minimal damage. Wonder if an Iron Head takes down the Togekiss at this range. Got a critical hit there. And Bullet Seed, not an. Oh, come on. There's our weakness policy. Going for multi hit attacks. Definitely a good idea in something like this, especially against something that's sturdy. It does break the sturdy, so down we go. And we're going to take a... Oh, we flinch it with the rock slide, because Psychic can Psychic pick up the knockout. All right, this is coming down to the wire. This is a good one to start off with. What's our best move now? Psychic is the most powerful move we have. We could burn with Skull. Do we want to try for that luck again? Let's try for that luck again. Actually, wait, I think Scald and Psychic are both the same power. Our defense is going to handle that easily. What do you... Huh? Air Slash would be your better move. You could flinch us out. No burn. Let's finish up with a Psychic unless they can manage to get a knockout against us. With something. Like I say, Air Slash would be your best move. It is not fully accurate, but you do have that good chance to flinch me. Especially if you have Serene Grace ability. There's your air slash. All right. Let's see, do we get flinched out? We don't. Do we pick up the knockout with psychic? All right. Match one of day two is a win, a very nail bitery close kind of win. But those are the ones that I like the best. It's never any. Well, I shouldn't say never any fun, but it's not as fun when you steamroller over somebody. You know, that one had me on the edge of my seat, and I was the one playing it. And hopefully you guys out there enjoyed it as well. So that is match number one. I could save that video. But I don't have to, of course, because we do have that on YouTube for posterity's sake. Prosterity? Prosperity? What is the term? I don't know. I'm just excited for the win. All right, so we're going to go with... Uh, which music do I want? Let's do this one. It's one of my favorite tracks. I say that about a lot of them. My opponent from Saitama, Japan, ooh, has a 1500 plus rating. Some fast Pokemon. Well, Aerodactyl and Latios, of course, are fast. Jump Luff is fast as well. We see a sturdy Onyx. Could be a sturdy Regirock. Could have that hidden ability. Hmm. I'm going to see probably Sandstream from Tyranitar. Would it have a fighting type berry to resist? We don't have any fighting attacks, though. Actually, well, we have low sweep. I'm going to lead with Sol. And who else would be likely to come in if they do go for that sand stream? I could also bring Cordial. Trop Kick would be pretty good, lowering the attack stat. Not going to get a knockout on anything, of course, that goes for or got something that has sturdy. And Latios. Best way to deal with you. I'm going to bring with Wiki the Chandelure. Shadow Ball could do some damage to you. Last up, well, we see a lot of weaknesses to water. So I'm going to bring Pinky as well. He's a pretty slow bro. We have some good power behind him, as you just saw in that last battle. This is one of the songs. Of course, this is the Team Skull boss. When I first heard it, I was like, it seems kind of you know, subdued compared to other boss battle themes that we've heard in the past. But I'm like, after a while, no, I actually really took to this one. I hear this music. I can't picture anything but the Lysopod coming out of Guzma's Pokeball. And the fact that it could never defeat Icona, the Sandy Ghast, and Palo Sand later on, that was kind of cool. All right, we don't see any fake out, I believe, possibilities. So our best move here, we can go for knockoff onto the Latios. 
Unless it's a weakness policy. I'm still going to go for it. And for Cordial, we will just go for an Acrobatics onto the Jump Bluff. Who is the fastest on the field? Weavile or Latios? Even Jump Bluff is in the running. Okay, it looks like Weavile. Soul is our quickest. Down goes Latios. One hit. Excellent. Another good thing about this here, too, is that with only held items being weakness policy and berries, you don't need to worry about the knockoff not doing a bunch of boosted damage because of getting rid of the item. Like Mega Stone and Z Crystals can't be knocked off. You don't gain the boosted damage from that. But fortunately, we do gain it because of only berries and weakness policy. Now, this is what's kind of scary. This thing could be faster. Let's try for a low sweep on the Aerodactyl. Just in case we outspeed, we can slow it down a little bit. Cordial could then possibly outspeed. I'm going to go for another Acrobatics into the Jump Bluff. They uh, went for Sleep Powder last time. They can't put our Grass-type to sleep. There's the Rock Slide. All right, thanks to Spread Damage Reduction, we do survive that. We do get the low sweep, so we'll outspeed it next turn. Now, question is... All right, Giga Drain. Probably going to get the knockout. But I believe Cordial should be faster than the Aerodactyl. Maybe? I don't know. Regardless of speed, is down by one stage. And we flinched that time. Okay. So our two other remaining Pokemon are pretty slow. I could try to... Well, I'm going to go into Witwicky. Hoping that Cordial will be fast enough to outspeed this Aerodactyl and go for a Trop Kick onto it. And Sleep Powder is probably going to be a thing, but we're going to go for a Flamethrower onto the Jump Bluff. Let's Trop Kick away. Come on, save her faster. Aerodactyl just simply withdraws. Regirock comes in. Okay, could be weakness policy, but we are going to get the attack stat drop at least. There's a Sleep Powder. All right, so the Jump Bluff is the fastest now in the field. But we're going to outspeed this Regirock. And Trop Kick is going to... Oh, no weakness policy. Wait, it might be weakness policy. Hang on. Lower the attack stat, though. There's the weakness policy. That is the scary part. We can put their attack stat back to neutral, at least, though. By getting another Trop Kick off. Now then, would they actually be specially offensive? I really don't know what Regirock has to work with. I think, from what we just saw, they're more defensive than anything. Look at Witwicky's eyes while he's sleeping. <laughs> There's like little slits. It's kind of cool looking. I also like when he gets all sinister looking. And uh, I suppose that's your best attack. But I'm thinking, why would you go for Giga Drain on either of these two Pokemon? It's why you don't have acrobatics yourself. I mean, too bad for you. Perfect for me. Not taking any super effective flying damage. All right, what does this thing go for now that its attack stats back to neutral? Oh, we wake up. Flamethrower fires off onto the jump bluff. That is a knockout right there. So Aerodactyl is also remaining. And Ice Punch. That'll hurt. Yeah, okay. So with Aerodactyl coming in next, we do have, is it Pinky? Yeah, we can scald that. And we saw that Witwicky is the faster of the two of Regirock and himself, so. If we could somehow manage to hang in there after a rock slide. See, this is where I should really consider Protect on my teams. But we have good defensive investment. We might be able to handle a Rock Slide from Aerodactyl. I mean, if Sol could do it, I imagine w Wiki has a chance to as well. We're going to go for Scald under the Aerodactyl. Shadow Ball for Regirock, Scald for Aerodactyl. I was going to say, we could also dodge the Rock Slide, but we do not manage to pull that off. Do we flinch, though, is the question. No, there's the Shadow Ball. Is it a pickup? Is it a knockout pickup on the Regirock? Yep, down it goes. If we don't flinch with Pinky, Scald takes out the Aerodactyl. Finn. Scald takes out the Aerodactyl. Alright! Day two, battle two, win two. And I just rolled out of bed and started recording this. I haven't even had breakfast yet. That's how awesome I am. Listen to me sound like I'm getting like a, a full head. Although we did win that one with twice as many Pokemon remaining. Can we win the next one with three left on my side? Only one way to find out. That's to get that next battle underway. And since we're technically over halfway through the videos for the Weakness Cup, since 
Nine battles in the videos means five battles is past the halfway mark. I'm doing the math in my head. I got it properly here. Are you folks out there taking part in the Weakness Cup? And if so, how are your battles going? What team have you selected for your own Weakness Cup battle challenge? And what are your opponents? My opponent is... How do you pronounce that name? Anyway, 1489 rating from California, I think that was. There's no held items. And a Bailey. This might be one of those battles where someone just jumps in just to get the participation prize. So let's still assume that it's going to be a serious match. A lot of grass types. We're going to have Chandelure with Wiki leading the way with Soul the Weavile. I guess Critter would be good. And they could get a good weakness policy boost with Medusa in this one. But, as I say, I'm expecting to see a forfeit immediately. If so, we'll go for one more battle after this one. But you don't want to assume they're going to quit out and just choose any old Pokemon, because if they do give you a fight, even though there's no real, you know, prize on the line as far as wins and losses go, you still want to do your best. Especially me, where I'm putting these videos up on YouTube, you guys to check out. So, interesting! Shiny Pokemon! Hey! It's one of those things that makes me question, is this a legit team? But let's not even go there. Let's just go for the damage. Go for the win. But I'm predicting right now we're going to see a uh, forfeit. Regardless, we're going to go for a knockoff onto the Decidueye. We're going to go for a flamethrower into the Obama Snow. And wait for it. No, they stay in. Okay. Not quite a knock on the situation. That thing has some defense. Now, this is gonna hurt, but we got some defense too. Nowhere near enough. There goes our fire damage. And a wood hammer. How oh, we handle it though? Well then. Hmm. Well, we can take out the Decidueye with our next uh, knockoff, because they faint attack. Do I want to bring in Critter now, or Medusa? I'm going to bring... No, if I bring Medusa, the hail will knock her out after Sturdy. So let's bring Critter instead. That's the better way to go. So, what is faster, Critter or Decidueye? I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to go for the knockoff onto... No, you know what? I don't know what to do here. I could poison jab the Obama Snow for super effective. I'm going to take a chance. Since this is an actual fight, I want to learn along the way. Is Critter faster than Decidueye? I'm going to go with a Thief Attack. Now, I realized after I did the video yesterday, I really chose the wrong move. I should have given Critter something different than Thief. I was using Thief because... Never mind. I was using Thief. Oh, a critical hit! Don't anyone out there ever tell me I don't have bad luck. No, just kidding. After all those battles that we had good luck in, I can't really say that. Down goes the... Why? Why would you live with that tiny little bit? I think this knocks out the Decidueye, though. I'm gonna go for... Earthquake will knock them both out, but I don't think we're gonna be faster. It's gonna be cool to see if you go for Ice Shard, though. I don't want to waste time going for Rock Polish. I'm just gonna go for the damage. Let's do... yeah, let's do Earthquake. It's surefire accuracy. It's going to make sure we connect. Oh, you're still just playing all faster, are you? Excellent. Good to know that. There's the sturdy kicking in, and the weakness policy is going to kick in. Can Onyx, can Medusa outspeed the Obama Snow? She can. Okay, but now the hail's going to take her out, though, unfortunately. At least we took down two questionably shiny Pokemon. I guess that's something. Unless the hail just ends now, but then we gotta hope that Medusa is faster than the other two Pokemon that come in. But that's not a problem anyway. The hail does take a step. But we took half their team out. I kinda wanna go for one more match though. We've got plenty of time. I'll go for another match. That one was a fast one. So we had first win was one Pokemon remaining, second one was two. Now the opponent has two. This last battle, I'm predicting they're gonna come down to their last Pokemon. They might win it. But we're going to beat them 
They're going to win. Well, I'm not going to beat them. They're going to beat us. Say, what would you call it? Four to three? Three to four? Four knockouts to three? Four to three. We'll call it that. I'm not going to save that video, of course. As I've said, we have it here on YouTube. Let's go one more. See if we can pull something off here. Uh, which song do I want? Let's go for this. This would be a good song to end things off with for day number two. I'm at a 1475 rating right now. I am envious of people that I watch doing these videos. We're oh, 1266. This might be the forfeit I was talking about. Maybe not. I don't know. Held items. They're all decent Pokemon. I am going to leave with our fastest being Soul, as we saw. Uh, let's go with Medusa as well. We'll try the weakness policy rock polish combo here. We got some potential to use with Wiki against these things. And I think let's go with Critter as well. So we're leading with our Onyx and our Weavile. We've got our Chandelure and Butterfree in reserve. But I see other people do these online competitions, do videos on YouTube, and they get up to like say 1600 rating and stuff. I am slightly envious of that, but then they're using Pokemon that are hardcore prepared for just these competitions. I'm using Pokemon from all walks of life, basically. I should have brought Cordial for this prankster. I didn't even think of that. Hmm. Alright, question is, what are they gonna go for? Rock Slide Giga Drain combo could be devastating for poor Medusa. We're gonna go with a knockoff into the Aerodactyl. We're probably gonna fall asleep to a sleep powder though. There's all these potentials that this prankster could do to us. Let's go with a rock polish to get Medusa's speed up to speed. If I cannot bump the microphone, and if Well, it's a win. Let's try one more. Let's try to get an actual match to end this off. I wasted the league title defense song on that. Let's try for one more match. We've still got time. I kind of wanted to end this video earlier than usual because I do want to try to go out and capture some legendaries in Pokemon Go, but I'm going to put that aside. i still got time to catch one of my buses to go and check that out. See if I can find any Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl? What am I saying? Articuno. Any Lugia. Because today and tomorrow are the last days for Articuno in Pokemon Go. At least for now. They haven't said anything about bringing them back at some point. Your camera's a little off-center there, just so you know. Oh, a Yawn Mega! See, what I like about these competitions, you see a lot of Pokémon you don't normally see. I'm gonna lead with... Onix, Medusa. Hmm. Biggest problems if... She comes in, we're gonna see some Grass-type problems. So I'm also gonna lead with our slow, slow, slow... Chandelure with Wiki. I also want to bring... Will we see any speed priority from these things? Well, we do see a prankster possibility. I'm going to bring Cordial for the Queenly Majesty. And our last option is... I'm thinking bring in Sol. I could bring Critter, though. Yeah, Sol's probably our best bet. We've got Poison Jab for these grass types. Also got a low sweep for that Sawsba. WT Brony. Alright, this is the... this is I'm calling it the last match of the video. We're pretty much at time as it is, so... Let's give the folks a good one here, WT Brony. That looks like a Bounce Sweet hat. You have almost a Bounce Sweet outfit on there. So there's Yawn Mega and Rhyperior. Ooh, a shiny Rhyperior. And we're going to lead Onyx to Chandelure. I didn't think to give a Grass-type attack to our Chandelure. They can learn Energy Ball, but we didn't go for that. We're going to go with a Rock Polish on Medusa, speed her up, and... Well, we could Rock Slide... I was say, we could Rock Slide the Yon Mega, but then we could also just Earthquake the Rhyperior. I'm trying to think, which Pokemon do I want to aim for with Witwicky? I'm gonna probably... Should I burn something? I should burn something. With Will-O-Wisp. Don't know if that's gonna make a difference. I'm just gonna go for Flamethrower on Yon Mega. Do we see Protect to get the Speed Boost? No, but Yon Mega we retreats. Okay. And a Golurk comes in. We're going to get a Flamethrower off on this, hopefully. Ground and Ghost type. I was considering possibly going for a Shadow Ball. Now, fortunately, this means we are going to survive uh, one hit with Sturdy. So some decent damage under the Golurk and a Rock Blast. I'm going to get the Weakness Policy boost, unfortunately. They didn't hit us with anything just yet. And that does bring down Witwicky. 
Rock Blast. One of those multi-hit attacks, as I said. And we can... I guess we can bring Cordial now. Hmm. Yeah, we'll bring Cordial. We can go for a Trop Kick onto the Goaler. I'm going to try Iron Head into... I don't know. Iron Head. We don't have this, the uh, attack boost from the weakness policy just yet. But if we go for Earthquake, it's going to hurt our own Grass type. It is resisted, of course, but we're going to try Iron Head. Possible flinch on Rhyperior. Let's go with a Trop Kick into... I think we should double up on the Rhyperior. Let's do that. Golurk can learn a lot of the punching attacks, I'm pretty sure. Plus, it gets Iron Fist ability, so we might see a Fire Punch or can learn Ice Punch. Maybe. I'm hoping for a super effective hit on Medusa so we can get that weakness policy boost. I've used our Onyx here, Medusa, in a number of online battles, and people don't expect much of an Onyx. You know, probably thinking, why not evolve at Steelix? Well, there's a potential for, well, if you really want to, Eviolite, adding more defense. But, good, Golurk retreats. Sawsbuck comes in. Alright, so Iron Head is a good way to go. Doubling up on the... Oh, what's that ability called? Oh, it's weakness policy. Thick Rock or something like that. Where it takes less damage from super effective hits. But we're going to lower the attack stat at least. Okay, one more Trop Kick would bring it down. Can we flinch it? Ice Punch. Thanks for the weakness policy boost there, my friend. There's that luck, everybody. Alright then. So we can take the Rhyperior down with another one of our Trop Kicks, though. If we are lucky. Now, if luck wants to hold out for us, break us out of the ice right now. I'm gonna try. Rock Slide might be the best, I guess. No, I'm gonna bank everything on luck for this last match. I'm gonna go for an Iron Head to Rhyperior. We're gonna thaw out, and we're gonna acrobatics the Saws Buck. Check this out. I plan my strategy accordingly. No, we don't thaw out. Of course we don't thaw out. Why would we thaw out? So acrobatics into the saws buck. I guess I really didn't consider the fact that... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Fire. Okay, I was like, what barrier did we get first? But now that we've used our item, the acrobatics is going to do a lot more damage. Unless you take out our Serena. Nope, you do go for Onyx. All right. So, what's our last Pokemon? I forget who I chose. I chose... Oh, Sol. We have Low Sweep to hit either of these two with, actually. We should be able to take this thing down now. Low Sweep into the Rhyperior. Super effective. It does have that ability uh, weakening damage, but... It's our most effective move. We're going to do that. Although, wait a minute. No, let's back that up a bit here. Calm down, Sol. We're going to Poison Jab the Saws buff as we go for a Trop Kick onto the Rhyperior. Do we manage to pull off a victory against at least these two Pokemon? Can we tie things up? Two versus two. What's going on? Carefully choosing your moves there, I see. Has anyone ever really seen another season form of Sawsbuck lately? It seems to be just the spring form I ever see. You know, I only ever see. Golurk. Oh, you're going to resist the poison. Good thing I didn't go for low sweep then. Alright, well, we can easily trop kick that thing on a falling turn, though. Maybe? That's a lot of defense you've got there. At least down goes the right period with that weakness policy. Go away. You and your ice punching. And here I was concerned about ice punch and stuff from the goaler. Alright, what is in next? We see there's also Yon Mega in reserve. Here it comes. Now, this thing, I'm going to try to go for a knockoff against. We didn't see them use a held item yet, and they don't have the weakness policy. Because, of course, the Rhyperior had that. We're going to Trop Kick the Golurk. Can we drop the Yon Mega? I think it might be faster than Weavile. Because these things are quick. I can't wait for Gen 4 in Pokemon Go. Oh, you're going to just withdraw. All right. Because as soon as I can evolve my Yonma into Yon Mega in Pokemon Go, that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, you survived that. Curses. There goes the y Yachi Berry. Bug Buzz is probably a knockout. Our defense can't handle up much of that. Nope. And a Bug Buzz will take down Cordial, I'm sure. Oh, come on. I guess that was a good prediction. I'm walking away from this battle. There's no reason for Cordial to take a knockout. 
That was really well played by the opponent, though. Good strategy, good combo, switching out a lot. Kept me going. So we are going to hand that win to WT Brony. But that was a good match to end things off with for day two. And with that being said, we are now done. I'll come back for day three and see how well we can do then. I want to get all my battles, all 30 battles for day one and two done by four, by four, the end of tonight. And I won't, like, I guess if there's any really amazing battles, I say this a lot, but I can record those with the versus recorder and show you those. But more likely than not, we're just going to come back tomorrow for three more matches at least on day number three of the Weakness Cup. So I want to say thanks for watching the video today, folks. If you're taking part in the Weakness Cup, as I said earlier, leave me some comments down below. How are you doing? What are some common strategies you're seeing a lot of? I was expecting Trick Room a lot after I saw that first battle yesterday, but I haven't seen it since. So, interesting combinations going on here. Everything is, seems like fresh. Every battle is a new experience, which I really like about these kind of competitions. But if you want to see some more videos from good old Professor Chaz here, check out some of the links during the outro to some more videos. And if you want to subscribe for daily Pokemon content, you can always click my face during the outro, subscribe to the channel, and get daily updates on when new videos go up. But with that, again, we are done. Thanks for watching today's video, folks. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I will catch you next time.